The American Foundation for the Blind, in association with NV Access, presents Learn NVDA, an introduction to using your computer and getting online. Windows Basics Part 1 In this tutorial, we'll be discussing how to navigate some of the interfaces in Windows and some useful Windows keyboard shortcuts. Before we begin working with NVDA, let's discuss some general features of the Windows operating system. We'll start with the desktop. The desktop is a grid of shortcuts to programs, files, folders, and websites. The desktop is the default view you are presented with when Windows starts. Application windows are views that appear in front of the desktop. The desktop is always available behind other running applications. The taskbar is situated across the bottom of the desktop and contains the start button on the left, notifications on the far right, and running and pinned applications in the center. The taskbar is always visible unless you are running a full screen application, which we won't be doing in this tutorial. Pressing the start button in the taskbar or the Windows key on the keyboard will open or close the start menu when pressed. The start menu lists recently used applications, the File Explorer, Settings, and the Power menu. The Start menu contains all of the installed applications in an alphabetized list under the All Apps button. New to Windows 10 is a grid of pinned apps that appear to the right of the Start menu list. Microsoft dropped the Start menu for Windows 8, so if you're running Windows 8, the Windows key opens a full-screen start page with a grid layout of icons. Applications that are pinned to the taskbar will always appear in the taskbar whether they are currently running or not. As mentioned before, applications run in windows that sit on top of the desktop. These applications can be minimized, that is, hidden from view, so that they are still running but no longer visible. Minimized applications can be restored by activating the application in the taskbar or by switching to the application using the Alt plus Tab key combination. In Windows 10, there are two types of applications, legacy Windows desktop applications and Windows 10 apps that are downloaded from the Windows Store. In this tutorial, we will only be covering the legacy desktop applications because most applications have not yet been converted to the new Windows 10 format. Most of the principles that we cover will apply to both types of applications, however. Many applications have a menu bar that appears at the top of its window and contains most of the options for the application. The bar is a series of tabs with drop-down menus, generally with File, Edit, View, and other options. Below the menu bar is the body of the application, and some applications have a status bar across the very bottom. So let's get started with NVDA. I'm currently on my desktop, which has icons arranged in a grid. The desktop is a convenient place to store files and shortcuts, but we recommend you avoid overusing it. We recommend maintaining a clean desktop and learn to use the start menu for launching programs in the appropriate folders on your computer for storing files. We will cover this in detail in a moment. Since the desktop is the first thing you will encounter when you start your computer, however, we will talk about it first. I'll press the home key to get to the first icon, and then the down arrow key to move through the column of shortcuts. Recycle bin 1 of 5. Notepad 5 of 5. NVDA 3 of 5. Internet Explorer 4 of 5. When I reach the end of a column or row, NVDA won't say anything if I keep trying to move in the same direction. Let's go right by one column by pressing the right arrow key. Mozilla Firefox 2 of 5. You can also type the first few letters of a shortcut and you will be moved directly to it. I have a shortcut to the Notepad program on my desktop. I'll start typing Notepad to move directly to it. N -O, Notepad 5 of 5. I can now press Enter to launch Notepad, but instead I want to demonstrate the preferred method of quickly launching programs. I'll press the Windows key to open the Start menu. By default, my focus is in the search field, so I can immediately begin typing Notepad. Listen as Windows searches through my computer in real time and presents me with the results. Cortana window search box edit blank. N O Notepad desktop app one of six level one. After a few letters, it has narrowed the search down to Notepad, and I can press Enter to launch the program. This is a better way to launch programs than using desktop shortcuts because the start menu is always immediately accessible by pressing the Windows key. It will also search all of your programs and files, and there's no need to ensure that there's a shortcut on your desktop or not. 
You can launch any program on your computer using this method, and in Windows 10, Search has been enhanced with several new advanced features that you can check out on your own. I'll go ahead and launch Notepad by pressing Enter. Untitled Notepad, edit multi-line blank. To minimize all applications and return to the desktop, press Windows plus D. I'll press the Windows plus D combination to return to the desktop. You can press Windows plus D again to restore your open windows. Folder view list, Notepad 5 of 5. Untitled Notepad. I'll go ahead and close Notepad by using Alt plus F4. Desktop list, Notepad 5 of 5. For more Learn NVDA tutorials, visit afb.org slash learn NVDA. This tutorial was presented with support from the Consumer Technology Association Foundation.